So happy Valentine's Day guys. Yeah man. If you are watching this, it's February 14th and it's Valentine's Day. And I'm with the love of my life. Who is my wife? <laughs> and I just did this. I just said, you know what? Put on your clothes, baby. I'm taking you somewhere special. Special for Valentine's Day for too long we've been not doing anything Valentine's Day especially for her because around my birthday and also I am the special one around this time but today I said baby it's not gonna be the same I'm driving and, and, and talking to you guys so bear with me so she don't know where I'm taking her she don't have a clue I'm just gonna do something special and as usual you know i'm one of those persons who always you know make sure so what i do is important yes yeah so if you want to see what we what what i planned <laughs> then guys what you need to do is you need to stick and stay don't go nowhere watch this video with the valentine's cutie pie over there Cutie pie. Valentine's Day, guys. Well, hope you had a happy Valentine's Day. Cutie pie. I may say, cutie pie. You're my Valentine's Mrs. Cutie pie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So guys, I'm taking her to get a facial, anshal, and footshal at salons by JC. And she never even did know, you know. But this is what you do, cause you are my, you are my classic man, you know, legendary. You understand? So. Let's just see what's going on, guys. I'm just carrying the mechanism to see what really are going on in this place. Yeah. Make sure I say she well set, you know, and I deal with everything and then talk back to her, you know, because right now she's excited, you know, she share about all the people in the door. She's so excited, she don't know what to do with herself, you know. So, so Salon by JC's is located in Pembroke Pines. And we are going to shop 35 in this multi-shop space. And we are going to Lisa Says, who is our resident dermatologist slash esthetician. And she will help us. Yes. Are you excited about your process that's coming up? Of course. Up? It's all about self-care. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to be overdue with me. <laughs> let's see what happens all right let's see what happens <laughs> no me not the valentine's color no 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 i will put in a pink shirt then <laughs> i dressed myself you dressed yourself yes oh my goodness i'm yes, getting this set together it. for you Hi everybody, my name is Lisa Williams. I am an esthetician practicing for about 20 years almost. I am located right here in Pembroke Pines. I've been here for quite some time doing facials, different types of treatments I provide from acne treatments to anti-aging treatments to helping clients with discoloration who suffered from acne and now have post-acne skin with hyperpigmentation or hormonal discoloration. I'm also a makeup artist. I've retired from doing weddings. I don't do weddings anymore at all. That I leave to the younger people, but I did weddings for photo shoots, special occasions, and so forth. And yeah. You do makeup for photo shoots? Yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, the weddings. Well, no, yeah, I don't do weddings, <laughs> but I do photo shoots. Like, if you want your engagement pictures done, yes. If you have a, I used to do a lot of music videos back in the day in Miami with like a lot of the artists like um, Rick Ross and DJ Khaled, and that was before social media. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I love doing what I do. If I couldn't do this, I'd probably be very sad because what I do relaxes me as well, calms me down, it brings me great joy to help people look and feel their best. And you're in shop number 35 yes. in Salons by JC. Salons by JC. We're at 176 South Flamingo Road. So it's the corner Pines. of Pembroke Pines, Pines and Flamingo. Pines and Flamingo Road. Right beside Publix. I tell everybody our door is right beside the big green bench. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're going to do some resurfacing on you today. So the only thing I have on my face now is um, concealer because I have green bark and the eye setting. Okay. Concealer. Um, you're anemic? No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. So when you're doing your regimen in the morning, um, you've got to... Make sure that when you moisturize the face, mm-hmm. that you moisturize under the eyes as well. A lot of times we forsake that area and we cover everywhere else. Mm-hmm. But I even have it on my bottle that when you apply your moisturizer, that you do it on the face, neck, and ears. And I always mm-hmm. stress to make sure you get your the under eyes because the eyes are dark due to dryness. And sometimes it's hormones that make them so dry. Right, I was told that it's, it's usually or hereditary. Right, mm-hmm. so that's like the first thing I ask is if you're anemic. Because mm-hmm. usually people with low iron or low blood, mm-hmm. that's the thing. And you're not supposed to be um, eating nothing yeah, while, while you're doing the, the <laughs> So we're shampooing the skin right now, getting off any excess oil or residue, and kind of waking up the skin, mm-hmm. softening it up. So if there's anything which I don't feel any impression, your face feels great. Right, it's like literally gonna be an easy task. Usually, I have, if anything, it's more would be blackhead, but I usually don't have black acne. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see more moles than anything. Mm-hmm. You don't have any blemishes. And I started my skincare routine very late in life. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're Maybe very in my young, 40s. so. <laughs> I'm not young. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm so. Right, so I only use warm when I'm in a treatment, but, and I don't use a steamer because I don't believe in drying out my client's face like that. Mm-hmm. I believe products and the way you manipulate the skin with the hand mm-hmm. can open the pores and soften up the cells enough. So hot water also depletes your elasticity. So that's how you get wrinkles and sagging skin by washing your face in warm water mm. and hot water. That's why I have that. You have no loss of elasticity. Mm. But yeah, you but can you can be very close to on your way there if you continue to do it. I think I have loss of elasticity under my chin area at least. Just say a chin fat man. <laughs> <laughs> well you know what that is really from that mm-hmm. is from looking down at your palm. So I always tell my clients to hold their phone up and be at eye level with it. Mm. Practice to do that. Your face look good already, so I could at least. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Awesome. To the skin. This is a diamond encrusted tip. It's rough, 
So, you know, like when you go and get your nails done and they're using the drill to smooth out the bed of your nails, this yeah. is to smooth out the face. Oh, okay. All right. And the vacuum is suctioning up any type of buildup or anything that's down into the pores. Mm -hmm. And this is what we call resurfacing. So we're actually manually doing to the skin what a chemical peel would do. Oh, okay. Most pregnant and nursing women, not that she's pregnant or nursing, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, usually get this treatment done because they cannot get chemical peels. Mm -hmm. But I like to do this to polish the skin mm -hmm. and really give the skin a nice buffed, smooth surface. And it really helps like your makeup, any treatment you get by the way, helps your makeup to sit very well. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I used to work for dermatologists, plastic surgeons, mm -hmm. all while I still had like my own clientele that I would see, you know, outside. Because I had that clientele long before I went to work with doctors. And it was a great experience. When you work with doctors, it's kind of like continuing your education. teach you you learn so much more in depth on skin and I'm not really a spa esthetician as you can see my hands look very aggressive on the face <laughs> uh -huh. I go very aggressive because I'm really about getting the job done uh -huh. there's a spa esthetician out there but I'm the clinical esthetician that's the one that the spa esthetician make it feel Just good. rub you up and make it feel uh -huh. good nice uh -huh. you up Make it feel relaxed. Right. I try to do both, but those who have acne, they beg to differ. <laughs> when they come in here, it's a chamber. I go to chamber. <laughs> I've seen some of those videos that you post extracting some stuff. Yes. Painful poppers. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, when I just became an esthetician years ago, and like YouTube really just started popping. Dr. Pimple Popper was on YouTube and I would just sit and watch her videos. this whole so, time. Wow. <laughs> yeah, will it, will it see it? That's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. See all the all the kara kara that was on her mm -hmm. face. So this <laughs> So this is Your face what, look very suctioned right now. Yes. <laughs> so this is what usually cleanser leaves behind, which mm. is why I encourage my clients at least twice a week to use a toner. Because the toner removes the dirt, the oil, and the residue that mm -hmm. the face wash leaves behind. It helps to build up back your pH levels. Okay. So the, when your pH levels are up, that's your skin's defense mechanism. That's the ninja mm -hmm. that protects your skin from free radicals. Free radicals is invisible debris that floats around in the air and lodges into the pores. When free radicals lodge into the pores, that's what makes them large and bigger because they're the pores are dilating and having room okay. to expand. When they expand, dirt and oil settle in, creating comedones. Comedones is that white squiggly thing when you squeeze, you say they have worm in my mm. face. That's what comedones are. So when the free radicals lodge into the pores, expanding them, they make room for dirt and oil to settle and build up, creating the comedones or blackheads. Blackheads are what actually dilates the follicle so big, it just settles like a little thump in there and when you pop it out the tip of it is black we call mm -hmm. those blackheads wow. mm. so now your face is free of kumina uh, kumidon <laughs> <laughs> well she actually doesn't have any i do have open pores she pores, does have though. large pores yeah and ever since i started using serums though i find that they Refined close more. up a little bit more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're going to make sure you're always washing your face in cold water. No hot. Hot is not your friend.
because I don't think it's impossible to go to school. That's a really good one. That's a bright finish. Dermabrasion is very abrasive. People literally feel their mouth fill up with water mm. when they're breathing. That's the only thing that we feel from the mouth. Mm. I feel limp. Cute, I feel your limp nose. <laughs> You gotta put pumpkin on our face? Yes. <laughs> you know what pumpkin on the yard, see? <laughs> Take some of our rubbish out. Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling so far, see? Give us an nice. update. It does feel nice and relaxing, mm -hmm. and I can already feel it, it feels clean. Yes. And you feel abrased. <laughs> mm -hmm. You feel abrased. Microderm and abrased. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you this fan to hold because this does have a little bite. Mm -hmm. Help me. Bite her, sister. Bite her. <laughs> so I know you go for your walks every day. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're going to pull it off, but you can't sweat for the next 48 hours. Oh, she just said stay here. What is it? No. You can't submerge your face. You can't be it. You <laughs> so you cannot wash your face for the next 10 hours. Mm -hmm. And when you shower for the next two to three days, no steam in the shower. What? Cold water. Be lukewarm. Yeah. Right, but no steam. We don't want you to have water bumps. Yeah. So what you say about 10 hours on it? No, don't wash your face. <laughs> Don't, don't be it for 10 hours. <laughs> and what this does? Mm -mm. So Stay. this is retexturizing. It's also a brightening treatment. It's going to give her like a really nice, pretty satin finish. Oh, so your face are going to turn satin. Yes. See that? Right now, I'm going to see the satin that come up. I have fun now. Turn it up. Yeah. Make it burn. Yeah. Make it burn. Well, you got to turn it towards me. Okay. Oh, that's the way it is. Oh, God. Too funny. So, let me set my timer.
sounds great. Mm -hmm. There you have it guys that was our retexturizing treatment with uh, dermabrasion and now we have lady candy looking nice and glowy so if you would like to come in and get your glow and have a little brightness or to just enhance what you already have or if you got blackheads and bumps i'm the girl <laughs> call me text me i'm on instagram at lisa says that's lisa l-i-s-a-s-e-y-z -E and 954-548-8842 or you can go to my website lisasays.com Awesome, guys. awesome, awesome. <laughs> and this is the beauty that was just created. Yes. She was not beautiful <laughs> when she, she just came. Oh, she was gorgeous she already. Was this was probably one of my easiest treatments. When she came, she <laughs> wasn't that gorgeous. <laughs> but she now, nice. Lisa feels... says and she has done it. Yes, she has. So the treatment was amazing. First of all, let's get into the warm welcome that we got when we ent when you know as soon as we entered the room. Mm -hmm. Her radiant <laughs> beauty and everything, and just her overall presence. It's a good feeling in in the space, and that's very important. You just don't want anybody making contact with you unless you know they they have a good spirit and a good energy. And I got that from her. And then as soon as she started the process, it was just you know. I can already, I felt the transformation Glow. as she did her thing and of course the end result, I, my face is feeling like it, a, a thousand pounds were lifted off of it, so. A thousand pounds of, of micro abrasion. <laughs> <laughs> yes guys, so these are your daily products for the next five days. Wow, your skin is just glowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't don't make our eggs <laughs> <well. Yeah. laughs> For the next five days, only use the wash and the moisturizer. This is my Revive Anti-Aging Cleanser. Mm -hmm. I recommend this one for you over the purifying wash because this is for normal to combination skin, not right. oily, acne prone. Okay. And this is based with white tea, which is full of antioxidants. That's what promotes the collagen, the brightness. It helps to restore elasticity in the skin, and it's great for the pores. Okay. The Total Quench Moisturizer, you apply face, ears, neck, under the eyes. And you, I usually recommend my clients keep it in the refrigerator. I have a cosmetic fridge, and I usually encourage my clients to buy one and put in their bathroom. You, heard you keep your products in there. The cold helps to actually contract the pores, and when you oh, constantly okay. contract the pores on a daily basis, you strengthen the inner wall muscles of your pores. Mm. Sounds crazy, but it really does work. Well, so I'm, I want to keep well, it, it up on the AC. <laughs> I can keep it in the fridge. Yes. And then your toner, really toner goes after your cleanser. Always apply thinnest to thickest. Okay. Serums are thin, so you apply your serum first, then your moisturizer. So always remember thinnest to thickest. Okay. I only want you to use this twice a week though. You wash, you spray it on, and then you wipe it off. The toner helps to remove any dirt, oil, and residue that the face wash may leave behind, and it also helps to tighten the pores. Okay, so you use a toner while your face is still wet? Yes. Oh, oh mm -hmm. that's You can pat dry. Okay. You can pat dry. Always dry your face with plain white paper towel, never your bath towel or your washcloth. Oops. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Clean white paper towel, you pat dry, spray your face, and use a cotton pad and just wipe it off. Mm. All right, and then you apply your moisturizer. But for five days, only these two. Okay. Okay. Make sure you catch it on the camera so I can remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to send you home with instructions because everybody forgets. Appreciate the oh, thank it you for coming. Amazing. It was thank wonderful you. to treat you today and to have hubby here, the Rev, the Saint Hope. <laughs> yes, yes. And remember, says she always watch Yadi Belly TV. So. Yes. You know? I love Yardy Belly TV. <laughs> I love Yardy Belly TV. The recipes, the laughs, I love it all. <laughs> big up, big up, big up. Thank you so much yes. from Lisa Says. Yes. And definitely, guys, you have to check her out. Yes. And the, the wife, it just, 
I tell you, you look very Valentine's. Yes, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so guys, if you see us on Yardy Belly TV, make sure you mention that when you come see me and I will definitely take care of you with a nice 15% discount. And awesome. the, the discount code is, you tell me, Yardy Belly TV. So the discount code is Yardy Belly TV, guys. Remember, yes. Yardy Belly TV and you get a discount at Lisa Says. Yes. And it's for, you know, treatment and stuff. Not for the products. Pay for the woman products. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to act with all this glow. Ooh, get into the glow. Like, seriously, though. It's the glow for me. Sorry. <laughs> so you feel good? Yes. I hear you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, you heard it, guys. Okay. So, when a spontaneous visit to your spiritual mom's house yeah. turns out to be a whole five star dining experience, let me tell you, no five star restaurant, don't test. <laughs> All right, it has been tried and true, and we know say. And I saw the number. And we can't understand get up early morning and just cook, so just cook, so like she knows that somebody has come here. You just, you just cook, so leading a holy obedience to holy spirit. See him, so look at one chicken. We're supposed to cook him a fillet, but we do one chicken and five corn a leg and half the hook on the meal. It's not just lazy oh, like a, okay. a little yeah, it have a it's a basket but yeah, you can yeah, spin yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it should have it just pan the counter the same way with all of them. No, sir. I'm not sure. Hold on. Not on special occasions. Remember say me have a clean bill of health, you know. So me not really have no stress. Mr. Philip. We not no stress. Say um Mr. Philip and Mr. So, let the three Valentine's, that's so. Mm. That is it. Auntie Cherry, you know, you're going to park and then something that I wonder if Auntie Cherry knows that we just pull up by one Jamaican restaurant named Iris something. Iris Fire or something. Iris Fire or something. Iris Fire or something. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm not going over there. I'm going to say, so close to me and go over because there. Because we call so. you. Now you never answer. And outside me, they're not looking at my backyard. Mm -hmm. Whoa. You see, how the, you see it? Food side of food. My grandfather used to get him rice in a one bowl, meat in a one yeah, bowl, yeah, veggies in yeah. the other bowl. See, look, food, the side of food. Show them the food there. Yeah. See? Oh, oh, okay. Food beside food. Spiritual food, side eh? You know, from when I eat one, one plate with rice tonight. And you know, said so the rice out of the bomb. Are you okay? Now, rice, can't be great. Give me great. Yes. Take the first time, take the from me. People have no baby, they eat with spoon. Why? Look how Auntie Cherry give him knife and fork. You know, long minute eat rice, you can't eat, eat this with fork. You have to eat it with a spoon. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you just say Auntie Cherry like the people that know who Auntie Cherry is. 
Yeah, he's our spiritual mom who we just, you know, pop up on sometimes and she always has food. And she just happened to have five star food today. As you saw. <laughs> yeah, so thanks babe for the treat. It was well, well, well received and well appreciated. And your face looked very microderms. My face still glowing. No, I never never say glowing. She did caution me that I might experience a little bit of um, dryness and stripping. That the the um the outer layer of the skin just shedding itself, just so that the brand new can't talk to my skin when that come out. So talk about your experience that um Lisa says right. That's 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 the name right. Lisa says yeah. Talk about your experiences like like I mean you just said you've not had anything that deep. How did it feel going in? Did you feel comfortable in the space? I mean I know you said a lot before, but yeah. Yeah, I think I said it all before about the whole atmosphere and the ambiance of the um, the place. She was quite warm and welcoming and it just felt like a, a comfortable, safe space. So I'm never going to pay for more? Of course. I need to contact her to find out, you know, when she recommends the next one to be. <laughs> And I, she know her stuff. Yeah. She's. It's not just a case where somebody's just doing something on your face and they're not communicating. She knows her stuff and she's explaining everything that she's doing as she's doing it. And I like that. So you understand the process and you understand why she needs to do what she's doing. And then when she's done, she is careful to tell you what you need to do because. But she, you have a you have a whole. Thing. Yeah. So we end up spending a full day and the last thing we did was to stop by our favorite ice cream store in Port St. Lucie which is called Sugared Up and grab ourselves a sweet treat for the wifey. Yes, she totally enjoyed her day. I'm so happy that I was able to make her day and of course, she 100% had fun. Hey, this is what you do on Valentine's. You treat your wife, you treat your spouse, and make them feel nice. Yadabelly TV. Remember, live and laugh, cook, and eat, and go out sometimes. <laughs>